Majesty, who covers thyself with the light and the garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of thy chambers and the waters, who makes the cloud thy chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes thy angels spirit, and thy ministers a fiery flame. Set the earth on its foundation that, so that it should never be shaken. Thou didst cover it with the deep as with a garment. The water stood above the mountains, and they rebuked thy flood. At the sound of thy thunder, they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which thou didst appoint for them. Thou didst set a bond which they should not pass. So that they might again, not again cover the earth. Thou makes springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills, they give drink to every beast of the field, the white asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sink among their branches. From thy lofty above the water is the mountains. The earth it is satisfied with the fruit of thy word. Thou dost cause the grass to grow for the cattle, fodder for the animals that serve man, that he may bring forth food from the earth, and wine the glad in the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen his man is heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted, in them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees, the high mountains are the fall, the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. Thou hast made the moon to mark the season, the sun knows its time for setting. Thou makes darkness and it is night, when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and the smoke. I will sing praises to my God while I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. In peace, 
Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our soul, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Metropolitan Deacon, for Archbishop Irene, for the honorable priesthood, the Archery Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For this country, Her Majesty the Queen, the Prime Minister of Canada for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed. And glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto the earth you are glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us to God by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed. And glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us command ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. <laughs> For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and into ages of ages. Thanks to thy name. Come, let us worship the word of God, begotten of the Father before all ages. In the God, of the Virgin Mary, as he endured the cross, he was buried as he himself desired, and having risen from the dead, he saved me. The righteous await me until thou wilt deal, deal bountifully with me. Christ our Savior, nailed to the cross upon the stars, he voided it and destroyed the dominion of death. We fall down before his resurrection on the out of the depths I cry to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. With the archangels, let us praise the resurrection of Christ. He is our Savior, our Redeemer. He is coming with awesome glory and mighty power. Touch the world with Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Even to proclaim thee, the crucified and buried Master. He told the women, come see the place where he lay. He is risen as he said. For he is almighty, we worship the only immortal one. Have mercy on us, O Christ, ever If thou, O Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with thee. By thy cross thou didst destroy the curse of the tree. By thy burial thou didst slay the dominion of death. By thy rising thou didst enlighten the race of men. O benefactor Christ our God, glory to thee. For thy name's sake I wait for thee, O Lord. My soul has waited for the Lord. My soul has hoped on the Lord. The gates of death open to thee from fear, O Lord. When the guards of hell saw thee, they were afraid. 
Until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope in the Lord. Let us come and worship in the house of the Lord, singing the hymn of salvation. Cleanse our sins as thou wast crucified and raised from the dead, and art in the bosom of the the Lord there is mercy and with him is plenteous redemption and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities the chosen chief cornerstone has been set up in Zion the immovable foundation on which the ranks of martyrs have been founded then the victorious hyacinth shines with heavenly light. How great is thine ineffable loving kindness, O Master. Save our souls, O Christ, for thou alone art merciful. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. Thou didst sail through Jerusalem, the splendid city of God, like a stone dyed with blood and clad in the purple robe of suffering. Now pray visibly, exulting and rejoicing, saving by thy prayers, O oh, blessed one, those who celebrate thy whole glorious and sacred memory. For his mercy is confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Thou disposest truly acceptable boldness before Christ the Master, as an invincible martyr, an obedient listener, and a pious athlete. Do not cease thine entreaties, O most wondrous one. Delivering from temptation and evil fortune those who keep thy memory, singing hymns to thee in faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The shadow of the love has embraced as the bush burn yet was not consumed, so the virgin gave birth yet remained a virgin. The righteous sun has risen instead of the pillar of flame, instead of Moses Christ, the salvation of In the evening and in the morning and at noonday, we pray thee, we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee, and we pray unto thee, O Lord of all, direct thou our prayer unto thee as incense, and incline not our hearts unto words or thoughts of wickedness, but deliver us from all who seek after our souls. For unto thee, Lord, O Lord, lift you up our eyes, and in thee have we trusted, for us not to shame our God. For unto thee are your glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the entrance of the Holy Ones, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Sophia Orthi.
So the Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. It should never be more. Lord, mm. in the thy house, O Lord, for So God, according to thy great goodness, we pray the heart and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our Metropolitan Deacon, for our Archbishop Irene, for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for this country, Her Majesty the Queen. The Prime Minister of Canada for all civil authorities and for the armed forces. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever member Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the, for the blessed and ever member founders of this Holy Church, and for all our brothers and sisters, the Orthodox departed this life before us. Who here and all who lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the parishioners of the sign of the Theotokos, all pious and Orthodox Christians, those who dwell in or visit this city and parish the members of the parish council and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings into good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, for all the people here present who wait thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For thou, merciful God, and lovest mankind, and to thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Oh, Lord, teach me thy 
his virtues. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy commandments. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy precepts. Thy mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of thy hand. To thee is to worship, to thee is to praise. To thee is to glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and thither and unto ages of ages. Accomplissons notre prière, restera au Seigneur. Ce que nous sommes de pitié de nous garde nos dieux par ta grâce. Demandons au Seigneur que ce soir tout entier soit parfait, saint, paisible et sans péché. Demandons au Seigneur un ange de paix, guide fidèle, gardien de nos âmes et de nos corps. Demandons au Seigneur le pardon et la rémission de nos péchés et de nos transgressions. Demandons au Seigneur ce qui est bon et utile à nos âmes et la paix pour le monde. Demandons au Seigneur d'achever notre vie dans la paix et la pénitence. Demandons une fin chrétienne de notre vie sans douleur, sans honte, paisible et notre justification devant le redoutable tribunal du Christ. Faisons mémoire de notre très sainte, immaculée, bénie par-dessus tout, et glorieuse souveraine, la Mère de Dieu, toujours Vierge Marie et tous les saints. Confions-nous nous-mêmes les uns les autres et toute notre vie, au Christ notre Dieu. Car tu es un Dieu bon et aimé des hommes, nous te rendons gloire, Père et Fils et Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours, et dans les siècles des siècles. Paix à tous. Inclinez la tête devant le Seigneur. Seigneur notre Dieu, toi incliné. Les cieux, et tu es descendu pour le salut du genre humain. Jette un regard sur tes serviteurs et sur ton héritage, car devant toi, juge redoutable et ami des hommes, ils inclinent la tête et courbent la nuque. Ils n'attendent pas le secours des hommes, mais comptent sur ta miséricorde et espèrent ton salut. Garde-les ce soir, cette nuit et en tout temps, de tout ennemi, de toute action hostile du démon, des vaines réflexions et des pensées perverses. Que la puissance de ton règne soit bénie et glorifiée, Père et Fils et Saint-Esprit, maintenant et toujours et dans les siècles des siècles. Has enlightened the whole universe, recalling thy creation. Glory to thee, O mighty Lord. The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. <coughs> Destroy the curse of the tree of Savior. By thy burial, thou didst fortify the majesty of death. Thou hast enlightened our race by thy resurrection. O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. For he has established the world so that it shall never be Thou didst restore the beauty of thy creatures. The soul to showed their inhumanity. 
humanity when they pierce thy side with the spear, the difference not knowing thy power. Ask that thy tomb might be sealed, but through the mercy of thy compassion, thou didst accept the tomb and didst rise on the third day. befits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. O Christ, the giver of life, for the sake of the dead thou didst voluntarily endure death, descend into hell as the mighty one to save those who awaited thy coming, granting them the life of paradise instead of hell. Grant also to us who glorify thy resurrection on the third day, cleansing of our sins and great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. And you surpasses all ancient miracles. Who knows of the mother who gave birth yet without a man, who carried in her arms her creator. This birth is the will of God. Since you carried him as an infant in your arms, O most pure one, and since you possess motherly before him, do not cease to praise for us who honor you, that he may be bountiful and save our souls. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. According to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O whole Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, clean us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Descend to death, O life immortal. Thou didst say hell with the splendor of thy God. And when from the dead thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God. 
Christ our God, always now and ever and into ages of ages. Confirm, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Christ our God and our hope, glory to Thee. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy. To the intercession of His Holy Immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the Saint John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and all right, victorious martyrs, of our venerable fathers, Joachim and Anna, of the martyr, Hyacinth and his companions of Caesarea in Cappadocia, Anatolius, patriarch of Constantinople, venerable martyr, Gerasimus the New, or Carpen Sinion and Venerable Nicodemus of Cause, Lake, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he as much as good and love us, mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Please come forward to venerate the holy icon and receive the blessing.